And we live. Well, we would be. If we open the covers. There you go. And action. Here we go. This is what it's about. This is what I'm talking about. Video with a video camera. Very light, very small, handy cam. Sony. Handy cam. Yeah. It's called a, what's it called? HDR CX240. Handy cam. Called handy cam because it fits in your hand and it's very handy and it's very small and it's very light and you can forget that it's here. You could actually go walking down the road not realizing, hey, look, I've got a video camera on my hand. It is brilliant. I've actually been using this for a few weeks uh, in one film job that I've been doing, experimenting on how to move forward from the Canons that I've been using, the 70D. Uh, I made a video about one of my cameras dying suddenly for no reason. And in the meantime, I've been using this, this um, Sony Handycam, and it's so brilliant. And one of the reasons that we was looking at the Sony, that we was looking at other cameras, in fact, is because we wanted to go live stream with the filming that we were doing on one, one particular project. But the Canon's 70D, you cannot get HDMI out, which is clean which means there's always some kind of clutter on the screen. You can turn most of it off, but there's a little white focus box that appears on your face and you can't get rid of it. Canon, what are you doing? So anyway, um, Sony HD Handycam. Tried it out. It costs next to nothing. <laughs> I think this is about 100 pounds, 100 pounds. And for the job that I'm doing which is actually in a studio it's in a it's in a radio studio so we're filming people actually producing a radio show so it's a multi-cam shoot and um, to go live we need HDMI out which this does have clean HDMI out and um, yeah I think it's the way forward I'm actually liking it uh, my only experience with Sony gear to date is really the Z1, the Sony Z1 that I reviewed a few weeks back, which is a brilliant HD, you know, video camera from back in the days. And I've always loved the Sony look, but Canon's always been my brand. You know, sometimes we get caught up in this brand thing for whatever reason. And, um, for me, it's because I know I can trust Canon. Their gear is particularly good, or usually good. It's well made. Uh, so I'll kind of stick with what, what I know. But this is taking me in a new direction. Uh, it records AVC HD, which is a, a codec that I'm not really experienced with. Now, a codec is like a wrapper. It's like you buy some fish and chips. Some people put the fish and chips in a box. That's the wrapper. It's still fish and chips. Some people put the fish and chips in newspaper, like in the olden days. Still fish and chips is a different way of opening it. Maybe you can get fish and chips, well, I've never seen this, in a can. But if you could get fish and chips in a can, that'd be another type of wrapper. It's basically what a codec is. This AVC HD is a different type of wrapper for the 1080 that this shoots at. And I think, I think this actually shoots, does it shoot 4K? I don't know if it shoots 4K, but it shoots really high quality. It's got three settings, uh, low quality, standard quality, and super high quality. I've been using the standard quality and the standard quality on this is better than on a 70D. The quality is so sharp, it's so crisp, it's amazing. The only problem is the codec is a pain to work with because you've got to 
it's so, I don't know what it is. It, it slows down the machine when, you, when you're when loading it into Final Cut. It has to unwrap it and it has to prepare it and do whatever it needs to do to it before you can use it. So it actually slows down the editing process and the files are so huge that when you're using Multicam, um, you need a really powerful computer. But other than that, I'm liking this. This reminds me of how I started with video cameras, not DSLRs, proper dedicated video cameras that can shoot for hours and hours and hours. You open the screen and it just turns on. There's no on off switch, it's very basic. You charge it, there's a little cable here. That's how you charge it. You charge it, charge a battery overnight. Once it's charged, you tuck that in there. Can you see that? Tuck it in the, in the handle and you are good to go. The quality is really good. As I said, I've been using standard quality and the standard quality kicks the 70D quality. So when I start using high quality, God knows what that is gonna do. Um, what's the drawbacks? The, the drawback of it so far that I can see is you cannot zoom this and maintain the quality. The quality deteriorates terribly if you, there's a zoom rocker on the top there, zoom slider. Yeah. And if you zoom in, the quality of it goes down pretty drastically. So what I do, if I need to zoom, I just move forward. I just need to move closer to whatever it is that I'm filming and everything good. It has face recognition. It's not a touch screen. There's a little, there's a little, um, what do you call that joystick thing in the corner there that you've got to twiddle around and it's kind of fiddly getting the menus and stuff. And there's an annoying beep that you have to turn off as soon as you can find out where to turn it off because it just drives you crazy. But other than that, this is, a, this is a great little camera. Works fine, you know, filmed with it for two hours straight. It wasn't even warm. Man, I think I'm gonna be moving back to video cameras. I think that is the way. Video cameras for video in, uh, DSLRs for f photography, which is how it was designed in the first place. So, it's got a little screen cover thing here, little lens hood, lens cover. You just rock that, close the, close the flap, and it switches off. It's perfect. I could carry this around all day, I wouldn't even know I've got it. I could fling it in my bag, fling it in my backpack, you know, I could have it in my pocket, it's so small. It's got a Zeiss, Zeiss lens, <laughs> man, I think this is the way, this is the way forward. These little cameras that look ridiculously small, that are kicking the spots off of gear that's five, six years old, no doubt, because obviously the technology is a lot newer, so the quality of it is obviously showing. So, well done, so Sony, I can't even remember the names of these things. HDR CX240. Why don't I just call it something simple? HDR CX240 Handycam, 9.2 megapixels. I recommend it. I've only been using it three, four weeks, but already I recommend it. And I've got two of these already. So might be getting a few more. Do a multicam shoot with five, six of these. But you're gonna need a more powerful Mac to to handle the files but it's all good man it's all good it's all good here you go and we're live yeah proper things